Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. <sighs> and today there's something really, really epic in this box. Uh, so by the time you guys see this, just know, um, well, <laughs> I've been excited to, to film this for a bit. Let's just put it that way. Thanks so much to my generous patrons, uh, for, uh, supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Um, let's go ahead and cut into this. There was actually two boxes. This is the box that was inside of it. Oh, it's peeking right out there. Yeah. So uh, we've got a hinder here. First off, um, I want you guys to go check out uh, Screaming Pirate um, on uh, YouTube. I'll make sure um, that there's a uh, link for his channel uh, either down in the, um, down in the uh, description or in the um, comment section. Um, so you guys can go check out his channel. Um, he uh, he received this and then sent it to me so that I could also share it with you guys. So I very much appreciate that. Um, so what's in here is uh, a brand new model uh, from Hinderer. And I'm, I'm so excited to open this up and experience it for the first time. And I, I, I have seen a picture of it. I have not handled it yet. Um, so very excited to do that. Let's go ahead and get in here. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's huge. <laughs> oh, it's, well, not huge, but it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> check this out. It's textured on the uh, lock side. Oh, man, I was so excited to see that in the preview. What is this called? Project X. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the pro, I guess it's, I don't, sorry, I wasn't trying to cover anything up. Project X 3.75 inch S45EN spear point triway prototype V2 4 textured stonewashed black G10. So when I saw a picture of this, the first thing that I thought was it's got the integrated tool, like the uh, full track. Now, if you guys remember the full track, uh, it was um, massive. <laughs> it was huge. I mean, what's the size of this? Hang on. I'm guessing this is about eight and a half inches. Uh, so a little bit bigger than the XM18. Eight. Yeah, almost exactly. 8.6 maybe. Blade is three. Mm, three point. Six. It said that it was 3.7. I don't think it's 3.75. Well, almost. No, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. He's right. 3.75 inch blade. To <laughs> me, like, oh, I think Kinder's measurements are wrong. No, it's probably my stupid tape measure or my stupid eyeballs. <laughs> 3.75 inch blade, 3.6 inch cutting edge. I think people are going to be a little bit happier with the ratios on this versus. Some of Hinderer's stuff with the forward choil, right? The action feels great. This is a triway pivot system, obviously. But yeah, it has this integrated tool, which has... Um, oh, I just realized you could probably use it as a bottle opener if you wanted to. But uh, this is the same tool that we saw... Or the same type of tool, the same idea that we saw on the full track. It's got that spring there and you push it in to the... Yeah, and it just snaps into place. No rattle, no movement, no anything. But that tool can then be used to adjust the uh, the uh, integrity screws or the uh, frame screws. Um, and you can see that it's actually got two heads. There's a small head and there's the larger head that can adjust the pivot, which is no longer a flat head. Uh, I mean, I, the convenience of a flat head is great. But I think the biggest upgrade is the fact that the pivot is captive. So no more penny or toenail clippers and doing that. You don't have to mess with that anymore. Now... Um, obviously, you know, uh, retroactively fitting, uh, hardware to this is not, this is going to have its own hardware, right? 
Um, the barrel spacers look to be probably the same as either the XM18 or the Eclipse, something like that. It depends on whether or not they're lipped. The clip is going to be the same. The LBS is going to be the same. I cannot get over how good this looks with the textured titanium on the frame lock side. I love that. Um, I <laughs> really want this in full titanium. What's the blade steel? On this guy, it's S45VN. I am sure that we will see whenever i have by the way i have no idea when these are actually going to be released um i timed this video for you know the announcement of it um but i don't you know this isn't mine i don't get to keep it it's going to be sent back um but i i have no idea when they're going to re be released i would follow hinderer knives on instagram i think he's got a youtube channel follow him uh go to the hinderer knives users and collectors group on facebook check out his website Sign up for the newsletter, stuff like that, right? Um, they will likely, when they do release, they will, I'm sure, hit major retailers like Blade HQ, DLT, GP Knives, all the good ones that I've got down there, right? Uh, and, of course, USA Made Blade. Um, this is actually where, uh, where this knife was sent from. Um, so make sure that you guys check out USA Made Blade. I don't have anything set up with Scott over at USA Made Blade. I just like Scott, and I like USA Made Blade, and I think you guys should definitely go check out the website and shop there. I've been shopping there for a long time, since well before the channel got started. Um, but uh, I do appreciate him sending this um, to uh, Screaming Pirate and myself so that we could check this out. The action's great. The flipper tab is still that kind of hook shape, but it's not quite right up there. This isn't quite so intense. Let's see. Get out of, let me get out an XM18 here real quick so you guys can take a look. Yeah. This is a little less intense than this guy. <laughs> this guy's pretty hook shaped, right? Pretty prominent. So this guy's a little bit more knocked down, and I gotta say, it's substantially more comfortable to flip. As, if you wanna do the light switch, I would say there's no discomfort on your finger whatsoever. I'm sorry, not light switch. If you wanna do the push button, because this area is less hook shaped and more rounded off, it's much easier to do the push button and you can definitely still light switch it. And it still acts as that, you know, the primary design being the um, handguard. There's plenty of room to get a full four finger grip on this guy. You are confined to this space because of this area back here. It looks like, by the way, this is not a review. It's just unboxing and first impressions. Should we, I think we probably should put it up in a, against an XM18. And I think probably also an XM24. So you guys can take a look there. This is going to be an in-between size knife. Yeah, so there you go. There's your size comparisons. How about thickness up against the XM24? Definitely thinner titanium and a thinner blade stock. How about up against the XM18? Mm, titanium appears to be about the same. And the blade stock is probably similar. Let me, let's measure it. I, it could be 145 to 150 thousandths. Standard uh, stock thickness on an XM24 is 187 thousandths, and on an XM18, it is 165. So this is still 165 thousandths. Now, this grind is definitely a little bit thinner than something like your Harpoon Spanta. You can see there the flat. It drops much lower, much less room to drop towards the cutting edge. So thickness at the edge, pretty, pretty uh, heavy. This guy much thinner down at the edge because of how they do this. It's interesting that this is called a spear point. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm not going to challenge Rekinder on, you know, classification of blade shapes. Good looking though. I mean, it looks like a hinderer. That's the thing. Uh, it's... A new design, but it's not strayed too far from the path of their aesthetic, you know, their look, right? Their thing. Uh, <laughs> it's very exciting. Um, I will absolutely own this knife. Uh, there's no question about it. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to get myself one of these. I love the full-size Hinderer knives. I don't know why I snoozed on a full track. That's one of the knives that I kick myself for. Admittedly, that thing was a little bit tanky, a little bit bulky. This guy's a little bit, it's going to be a little bit easier um, to pocket and carry if you want to. In fact, I'd say quite a bit more friendly to pocket and carry. What are they going to come in at price-wise? I have no idea. I hope it's $425. $425 to $450, something like that. I hope so. 
Obviously, these are US made knives. I'm just demonstrating the action there. It's definitely very good. I think we probably could adjust that pivot and get it a little bit. I'm, you know, I'm curious. Let's do that. Demonstration of the tool. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it definitely did adjust. The centering came off, though. I bet you I could get that just about perfect and get it to have that similar feeling of... Oh, wait. No, you know what? I think I just did it. It's almost... It's almost wanting to fall shut. It's just gliding now at this point. Um, but the uh, blade stayed centered. So, there you go. Much easier to adjust, and you can just do it on the fly, right? If you look down, that's a nice thing about the idea of having the tool as the backspacer. You look down after you've been working all day with it, and the blade's rubbing against one side because the pivot has, you know, found its way out. You can just pop the tool out and use it. Or, if you don't want to do that, um, I think, see, this cutout here is meant for you to approach it this way. You could probably go either way. If you don't want the tool back there, then you just take it out, and you're fine, right? It just looks like barrel spacers back there. So... Wow, uh, yeah, I, this is definitely interesting. Um, this is a prototype, so the actual production variants are subject to minor change or major, I have no idea. There could be huge things that they change about this knife, I'm not really sure. Um, there is no, in the prototype, there's no position for a left-handed mount for the pocket clip. I really wish we could have seen that. That would have been nice. Um, but I know Hinderer makes left-handed clips, so, okay. Steel lock bar insert, doubling as the over-travel stop, and then another LBS slash over-travel stop right there. Nice milling on the relief cut. No internal milling. Oh, what does it weigh? That's probably something that people want to see. Um, yeah. Six ounces. It's a heavy knife. <laughs> heavy knife. Um, not quite as heavy as the XM24. A little heavier than the XM18. XM18 generally five and a quarter ounces. XM24 I think is like seven and a half ounces, something around there. So this guy's right in between. Hmm. Big fan. The biggest, the, the coolest part of this knife, other than the integrated uh, backspacer tool thing, is the fact that they have textured the lock side. And that means that if he does titanium scales for these, which God, I hope he does, the entire thing would be textured. So those of you who, you know, don't like this, so I've got the XM24 textured on this side and it's not on the other because all of the lock sides on the XM18s and 24s, as long as they are production, not custom variants, are like that, you can have the whole thing textured. Oh boy, yeah, I'm sorry. This is a longer unboxing because it's a hinderer model. I haven't had a new hinderer here in a long time. Haven't been able to buy one. Um, and now it's crazy to be handling a new model. Very excited about this. Like I said, make sure you guys check out USA Made Blade. Uh, sign up for notifications there. Sign up for notifications at the retailers that I've got listed down in the description because they will, at some point, inevitably, I'm going to guess, they're going to get some of these, right? And then check out uh, the Hinder Knives website, follow him on Instagram, and check out the Hinder Knives users and collectors group on Facebook, where Rick fairly regularly posts updates about new stuff. So, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be pretty much it. Thanks again to Screaming Pirate. Make sure you guys check out his YouTube channel. Uh, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.